Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm Halima and if this is the first time you're watching me, I want to say a big thank you to you for watching and please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below. For those of you who have already subscribed to this channel, how best can I say thank you? I'm really very grateful to you all for sticking by me and um, don't forget to always like this video, comment and share. Today I'll be showing you how I make this lovely cow dress captain I'm wearing. As you can see, my dress looks very beautiful and it's very simple, it's comfortable and easy to make. If I can do it, you can do that. That's why I'm here to show you how to make this cow dress captain. So sit down back and enjoy this tutorial to the end. Just a friendly reminder once again before we get into our illustration. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, Please, please, please show me some love by hitting the red subscribe button. It is free. You don't have to pay for your subscription. And click on that notification bell icon there. That way you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Please like this video, share, and comment. Thank you all and I love you all for supporting me. And please don't forget, I'm here for you all. And together we can make this happen. So Okay guys, I've gone to the working table and I have my fabric folded on my working table. I'll make a paper illustration on how my fabric was folded. Let's assume this is my fabrics. This is my fabrics material and I have the salvage edge and salvage edge. This is the length of the fabric because I'm using 2 meters and by 60. 2 meters, the length of the fabric is um, 60 and I'm using two, the full length 60 is okay for me. And this is two meter. So the first thing I did was take the salvage edge and fold it to one other end like this. And after doing that like that, I'll now go ahead again and fold it like this. So I have, I have it folded in this way. So this is the center fold like that. And then I place my basic block bodice pattern on it. So from that point, I'll go ahead and explain what we need to do next. So the next thing I did was to, to show you my basic block bodice pattern. The of the dress by 60 is already on the table. So I went ahead to put my back neckline. And my back neckline for this illustration is 3.5 inch by 2 inch. My front neckline is also 3.5 inch by 5 inch. So I made a curve, round neck curve for both the back neckline and the front neckline if you haven't watched my video on how to make your own dress pattern um, please kindly watch the video I'll put the link of that video in the description the only difference there is that when you get to the hips from the hips points here just measure the full length of the dress that is 60 straight down from the hips points here just draw down a straight line Transfer the hips measurement from here down to the final length 60 and connect a straight line down and that's all you need. So you can now proceed to the next step which is, remember this is my, this is my shoulder length distance from this point to this point. So the next thing we need to do now is to measure out what your sleeve length will be. Do you want your sleeve three quarter? Do you want your sleeve short sleeve? Do you want it long sleeve? So from the shoulder point here, from the shoulder point here, let me show you. From the shoulder line here, I had a shoulder, I made a shoulder drop of two inch. So I'm going to go ahead now and extend that shoulder drop length outwardly to the end of this material. And then and I'll sh and we'll do that together. Now let's do that together. The next thing we need to do, the next thing I'll do, next thing I need to do now is that from the chest line, I'll come down by one inch. So let's measure one inch down, downwardly. So I'll come down by one inch this way. Rule it out, rule it outwardly like this. The line outwardly this way is not really showing because of the chalk color. I'm trying to make it show. It's not really showing. So that's your sleeve length. When you connect it outwardly like this, I wish I had a color chalk. Connect it outward like this, so that matches the sleeve length, the the circumference of the. So this is now the circumference from here to here. 
this is now the circumference of my sleeve so from that edge point they'll measure one inch so I measure one inch like this so I measure one inch and then use that one inch and connect it to the final length of the dress then use that one inch position and connect it to the final length of my dress I think I'll do a paper illustration a smaller paper illustration to show you exactly what it looks like so this is the shoulder drop as I said it take two inch or three inch and extend it from the shoulder points here I extended it outwardly and then this is a chest line I went down by one inch below the chest line one inch that's it here and then this one inch I went ahead to measure out my sleeve circumference and I said your sleeve circumference if you want it to be like um, short sleeve elbow length three quarter or full sleeve incorporate that length of your sleeve here from the shoulder points here putting your sleeve length here so for example now I'm using three quarters so my sleeve length here is 17 inch right if you're using short sleeve your sleeve length will be nine inch if you're using elbow length your sleeve length here will be from here shoulder point to the sleeve shoulder point x to the sleeve length will be what you put down then they measure the circumference of that um the circumference of that elbow value here that means you call it like maybe my is um my is um i put it as seven inch because i want it to be a bit roomy to your value there then from this point where you have one go ahead and connect it to that point go ahead and connect it to that point mark so this is your sleeve this is your sleeve this is your sleeve shape so this is your sleeve shape now that's your sleeve shape there the next thing you need from this sleeve length here measure out one inch this point one inch circle it out connect that one inch this is the hips length this is the full length of the dress i told you the full length of the dress is 60 to this full length here so because you want it to be a bit free you have your hips you have your hips divided by four your hips divided by four right plus 2.5 inch so you put that mark difference here your hips divided by four plus 2.5 inch that is the 2.5 inch point here and 2.5 inch at the hemline extend it outwardly now when you extend it outwardly like a straight line now measure out eight inch upward eight or ten inch upward you put you can put eight inch to ten inch upward then connect from these points like this you can connect it like this just so that it can be like this straight down like this so this is the shape you're creating now so this is the final length this is the hem length so what i said is and this point you have this is to make it like a curve and this is the sleeve length so this is my sleeve section here so i've incorporated it there in the clothes so this is what the pattern looks like so this is our cow dress caftan so using this concept now i'll go ahead and cut out this and do the same thing on my fabrics just go ahead and cut out the sleeve like this but please add your seam allowance to it I'm just cutting the exact one, but when you're cutting yours, please add seam allowance at the side a little bit. Sorry, I forgot to add seam allowance. Just add seam allowance with the broken lines like this. This is it. Now, first of all, you cut out the back neckline. Go ahead and cut out your back neckline like this. Cut it out. Then when you cut out your back neckline, you pull out, because they are on fold, pull out the first one. So you see what I'll do now to show you this particular point. So... The same cutting illustration I've done here is what I've used to cut my fabrics. So we have the back neckline first. So we'll take out the back panel and cut out the front. So, and then I'll recut my front neckline. And then you just cut it from this pattern the way I showed you. So we'll go ahead and just separate everything out and then show you how to join it. So just watch and see how we're going to separate them out. So this is the final pattern. This is the final dress look. Uh, we'll go ahead and sew the shoulder seam together from here. I'll just show you. 
so the shoulder seam will sew it from this point show it straight down like this that's the shoulder seam to the sleeve that's this way just see my paper here so we're gonna sew this way straight down on both sides um, the neck finishing I'll use a bias binder to do this I'll be cutting my bias binder from the leftover fabrics so I'll use the fabrics bias binder to bind the neckline and I'll join the side seam together case and I'll show you the final dress what it looks like and then um, that's it and this is the pattern we're using this is the pattern we've adopted for this dress I hope you understand the pattern finally we've been able to make this lovely cow dress together if you found my video very helpful to you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and remember you have to subscribe to this channel i'm judging you and i'm watching you please hit the red subscribe button and thank you for being part of this channel see you in my next video thank you once again i really appreciate you all